Boom. What's going on guys, Mr. V here. Welcome to another video. Um, in this video, we are going to take a look at some of the trades that I did today. Uh, I'm just going to review them and see what I did and uh, what I missed. And also just going to give you guys some of the tips and, and input that I normally would follow when I go into trade. Um, so as you can see today, uh, somewhere around uh, 279 bucks. It wasn't like a super good day over a $250 a day uh, mark. But uh, again, there was a ton of opportunities that um, I, I miss. Um, sometimes it's like you have to be glued to the, your computer to see everything. But uh, the minute you take a step and get out and come back, you see that you miss um, a lot. So that's what I want us to cover in today's video. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we'll talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. So again, uh, today, 279 total after everything. But um, I left a lot on the table. Um, again, like if I was glued to my computer out of probably uh, caught some of the, the runs that I missed. But again, that's just the nature of the market. You cannot sit there glued 24-7. It defeats the whole purpose of, of you know, me trading because um, the whole idea is be able to work less, but you still make a, a good enough living. That um, beside the point. Now let's jump right in and kind of take a look at the trace that I did. And again, uh, the first one on that list you can see there was... Um, M R I N. So this one uh, came out. If you can see here, let me see if I can go back here so you guys can really see. Because this one really had like a, a teacup during the day, and I'll explain that you would see. So yeah, so right here, pre market, it gaps up up to um, so from like two was that two five to um, two nine. It was about three three dollars and some change, and then pull back. So. I took a quick trade here, right here. So I went in at about two, two seven to three, um, three point one somewhere around there, and got out. Um, and then, good thing I got out of there because it kind of pulled back again, which I would have missed on that. So I took a quick trade there, made a little, little bit of profit, and then um, right open. And I was thinking because I um, on our watch list uh, on, in the Discord server again, if you're not. Um, on that server, links in the description. You can definitely click on join us. It's free. Uh, for our, our paid members, actually, the price I get for this one was $4. So I was thinking, like, right at open here, if this thing open at three, um, you know, if it opens up, because right open, you can see here, it was open like at three. So if it opens at three, I just want a dollar spread. So this thing can pop up to four. So um, right here, pulled back this candle right here. Um, this is this is almost where I got into the trade, and this was a little bit risky because for some reason I just I felt good about this one that this thing was gonna pop. So I got in here and it squeezed up all the way to um, I got about three point three and some change, and so got out of there just again to see this thing flush. And my I, I kept thinking this thing was gonna go all the way to four bucks. I think um, I was anticipating maybe a halt at about 3.5, 3.6. And then uh, I come out of that halt and rip all the way to four, uh, take profit first level at four. And then if you want to get back in the trade, get in the trade. But that didn't happen. So you can see here, got to 3.4 and then pull back. Um, right here, stochastic K crosses to the downside, which that's where it's like, hey, start looking for your exit. So got out of that trade. So those are the two points where I traded it. But I'm going to show you uh, guys, another area where uh, it would have been an excellent place to trade, which I didn't, um, of course. So look at here, right um, towards the end of the day, um, this thing just started, gapped back from like 2.7. As you can see here, squeeze all the way to 3.7. So we almost hit that uh, $4 uh, um, target price that I actually put on our Discord server. Uh, but I mean, 3.7 is still pretty good profit. Some people traded is made some profit too. So uh, at, the, at the end of the day, I was just happy with, uh, with what I got. So I can't really complain. And then after hours, since it finished with this uh, huge momentum, I was thinking after hours, again, watching that this was going to pop a little bit before pulling back. Um, that didn't happen. So as you can see, pulled back and never recovered. So that was that one. And then... Uh, 
uh, ticket symbol DOCS. This one uh, was an IPO. Um, and I saw this one a little bit late in, so I didn't want to really take a chance um, uh, on this one. But see, look at this rip. So I traded this um, somewhere around here. So I took some, just a quick a quick dip in and out. I didn't make a ton of money. As you can see, I made like 40 something bucks. Um, but I, I didn't want, because I, I didn't really do any research on the stock yet. So I didn't want to have to be in there for any uh, amount of time. So I got in here it squeezed up i made a little bit of profit um got out but then it pulled back consolidated and then look at that ripped from that 47 around 47 all the way to 53 uh right at close and then after closing um it just pulled back and sitting at about 51 right now so that was insane but i missed out this one like i said i only made 47 bucks this, this would have been uh um a cash cow for us so, and then uh, Moxy, M-O-X-C. This one, um, I actually was just testing something with this one. Because when this thing uh, gapped, as you can see here, out of nowhere, I opened. So, pretty much pre-market, it was flat. Um, here, open, still nothing. Just, I mean, this is not, from here to here, this, this thing was not tradable. Yeah, this thing showed up on the gap scanner because a squeeze from 17 uh, got halted about uh, 20 bucks. Halted somewhere here about 20. So I came out of the halt and I kept things like, oh, maybe I should get into this trade. But I mean, it still was just um, not really, if you can see here, even though it, it, it had some upward movement, but um, entry point wasn't really clear. It wasn't really giving me a good entry point. As you can see, look, if we look at stochastic here, um, it was, this is, there's really no nothing here that you can really leverage to determine where you can get in. Um, this would have been a good point to get in, which I didn't. So what I did here uh, um, instead was I waited for this thing to go upside. And I was trying uh, something. I was actually experimenting with uh, uh, another tool that I'm trying to put into my trading strategy um, to increase, again, my profitability or increase uh, my trading gains, if depending on how the market goes. So I was thinking, say, if this thing got up here, uh, more than likely was that it was going to pull back down. So I was actually going to uh, buy some put, um, which is, I mean, for options. So I was just going to buy uh, some puts here that if this thing pulls back, then I can make some profit and then sell it. So that's how I was able to make that little profit that you see there for MOXC, but it was just an experiment. So this, I wouldn't really consider this a trade. I just took that little, I get really, to, I bought, I just bought one contract uh, to kind of test it and see. So uh, it wasn't nothing, but I mean, you can see here, I missed this piece right here. Um, here would have been a good uh, area to trade, but again, like you can see, I, like I said, uh, if I look at stochastic here, it was really not straightforward. Um, so it goes up and down, up and down, up and down, um, unless you just butt and just cross your fingers and sit there and wait that, hey, if this thing crashes and it kicks me out, I can put a stop loss somewhere, maybe at VWAP. That would have been another way of doing it. Uh, but I didn't really feel comfortable uh, trading it just like that. So, um, yeah. And then this final one here, TNXP. Um, this is the one that I wanted. I, I was hoping I, I got in sooner than later. So this one gap after hours and they had a catalyst and the catalyst was like, I think they have a, uh, they're putting out some new test for treatment of uh, COVID lung uh, infection or whatever. So if you have lungs infection through COVID, they're putting out something that would help with that. So I think like a COVID related and it should at least gap. So I was looking at this thing gapping to maybe uh, 1.7 or in some way, maybe even test $2. But it got up to 1.3 and just stayed there. So I missed this first run here. Um, so I looked at this, okay, maybe this bounce off of VWAP might be a good spot. So right here, it, when it came down here at VWAP, so I kept thinking this might be um, a spot for me to get in. Um, but it still didn't really give me an entry. So I waited right here. Right here is, um, so if you can see here, stochastic stacks to cross, showing me that it's probably moving to the upside, case moving to the upside. And then look at that. Um, it's actually below 20 um, on the stochastic line, which is which means this thing is oversold. 
Um, so I since okay, right here I can get in. So I bought it right at V where we still got 1.2 and some change. Um, and then it just you can see here barcoded all evening, all evening. Um, see, I mean, like I got really, really annoyed, like nothing. I think uh when we got when we got somewhere here, um, somewhere here. I just, I'm like, oh, yeah, 1.22, somewhere here. I was like, I didn't even want this thing to keep going now. So I just um, cut my losses, and that's where I dropped that at 35 bucks. Um, other than that, see, look, I just barcoded throughout the evening. And, um, yeah, it's kind of disappointing for for um, after our trade. So those are just the, the stocks that I traded. And, again, guys, I'm actually working on some different things right now, testing some different strategies to add to what we already have. Um, that way we can actually uh, increase our profitability, especially in the days that the market is red. Because most often than not, when the market is red, like what do we do? We just like, oh, the market is bad. But there's people out there that are making a killing when the market is red. So I want us to be able to trade both ways. If the market is red, we're trading. Uh, if the market is green, we're trading. So um, to, to find that balance, so that way you're not just uh, leaning on one, just uh, go long. So we want to be able to uh, at least go short. And in this case, shorting would not be your typical shorting because if you use a margin account, then you, you have over 25K and then you can do shorting. But if you have a cash account, you can. the only way you can do shorting would be through margins, which um, it's a little bit risky. But if you do like I do, which is pretty much I deal with naked calls. I don't do the complicated options, naked calls and, and naked puts. I don't deal with complicated options like, uh, you know, the Vidicar and Straddle and any of that. I don't, I don't mess with that because that's for advanced options people. And I, I just want to something that I can go quick in and out and do my trade and I'm done. So um, that's it for this video, guys. Again, let me know in the comment section. Now, also, if you guys want me to do a video on that strategy, I, I'll probably have to do that here so you guys can actually see what I'm doing. I'm just testing this. I want to see how it works, and then I can actually put a good video out for you guys so you guys can um, also see that. And I probably want to do it with a clear example where we're trading, where I can actually buy it and sell it so you guys can see. So, again, let me know if that's something that you guys are interested in, and I will definitely put that video out there. If you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So if that's something that interests you. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content. Also, guys, if you're looking to get started with investing, Weibo has their promotion where if you sign up and deposit $100, you get some free stocks. Links in the description. And as always, guys, do your due diligence. Don't be a greedy savage. Stay motivated. Uh -huh.